Well, how do there, chums, to say, Captain of the and I'm back inside of No Man's Sky over on my PC save, and yes, I do want to continue on with the Ghosts in the Machine mission, and it says here to return to space and contact Apollo, but I am still doing, I mean, there's a couple of missions that mention expanding the base down here, which I've already sort of started doing. But I don't know whether they're essential for the ghosts in the machine. I just want to continue on with the Artemis questline. You can see here, Apollo the Adventurer now. It doesn't, it doesn't mention Artemis. But anyway, we're going to head up into space and we're going to go and see what we can find. Now, I have put down my own landing pad over here. Because from my last video, people said to me, Captain Steve, you need to have your own landing pad. And then hopefully your ship will always appear there when you teleport back to your base. So there you go. That might save me the effort of searching for my ship every episode, people in the view of us. Anyway, let's jump on in and let's fly on up into space and we'll see if Polo actually contacts me. Otherwise, maybe I have to expand my base a little bit further. But I've got so many blinking side missions now. It's, it's insane. And that's mainly because I did the whole expedition from a fresh save. You know, it's a new way of playing, isn't it? So you would have thought it would have been fine-tuned a little bit more than it was. But here we go. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. I have. I've got a Corvax and a Gek, mate. What are the units for not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? On to more important things. Yes, Apollo. Indeed. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. Oh, very kind of you to have worries and concerns of my welfare. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed would lead to their deaths. Hmm, okay. The abandoned sort of structures, they're covered in slime and pus. I honestly don't know whether the Sentinels did that. It it looks kind of alien to me. Oh, okay. Trade these nanites clusters with merchants in space stations to get the technology you need. All right, my friend. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it my gift, my little investment into our partnership. Well, thank you very much. Lovely. I'm not going to use it. Don't really need it. Frickin' ninja me. Alright, thank you. Oh, it says I've got to. I don't know whether that's part of the mission. Is it? Yeah, it's it's part of the mission. I've got to install it. Alright, fine. Okay, that, that's going in then. Um, yeah, it can go there, in fact. It can do. Uh, right, personal force field. Where are you, personal force field? There you are. Chicka boom. There you go. The technology has been installamentcated. Alright. Okay. Okay, round about. Okay, we've got a ra raid and abandoned building, chums. All right, okay, cool. We've got that locked in. Well, this seems a lot simpler now. And now that I know to check all my side missions, even on page two, because I've got a lot of them. Yeah, no, I, I had a little bit of feedback on "Am I a Moron?" episode three, and the consensus I think was mixed. There's a lot of people that were saying, yeah, hitting it up with the expedition does stick a shed load of missions inside of it, and it doesn't make it abundantly clear which missions to do in what order. It could do with stacking them, you know? Yeah, I kind of agree with that. There should be a little bit more hand-holding, especially for new players. But yeah, I got there in the end. It just took a little bit longer than I would have liked, you know? Okay, right. Am I looking for a hollow terminus or an abandoned building? Abandoned building. All right, okay. Let's bring it in slow. Let's give the actual world a chance to render. And let's hit up my scan and let's see if there's a building in close proximity. This one looks like it might be fairly close. Let's just zoom over there. Well, that's definitely not an abandoned building. Okay. Any others in close? Holy fudge, there's a giant crashed freighter here. All right, well, I'll touch it down at the crashed freighter site. Why the fudge not, mate? At least it's got a landing pad, or it should have. Come on, give me a little green circle to land by. There we go. Wow. Awesome. I do like I do like crash freighters when you come by them. And I don't think that's what we're after, though, right now. We're after an abandoned building. There you go. It's, it's 300 U's this All right. Cool. Well, we'll head on over this way, then. 300 U's. I'll see you at the actual abandoned building. 
Right, chums. <clears throat> well, we've arrived at Kated, but let me just show you something. Okay. All right, so I just sort of cut the footage, but there's the abandoned building. There's the freighter. <laughs> it's right next door. Okay, right. <laughs> Let's go inside. It's rare that you get two structures this close together, but freaking lovely. All right, let's head on in. Saying that, I've had two colossal archives right next to each other before, which I thought was insanely awesome. Yeah, we'll take that off of there. Take that off of there. Lovely jubbly. User identified. Terminal now active. You know what? I'll let you guys read this while I drink my coffee. Well, it's a good copy, people. Okay, seems to become more motile than crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. Analyze the data log. I discovered something coded deep inside. La 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 la. And it's going it's to give me some nanites. There you go. And those nanites we can use at the merchants and the space stations. Right, okay. So off we go. I mean, this is still part of the old tutorial steps, isn't it? Oh, look at him. Isn't he lovely and majestic? I like him. He's awesome, in fact. Let's scan him. Oh, I've already scanned him, have I? I guess I have. Yeah, he's got a green marker on him. Okay, right. Where's my shippity ship? Oh, yeah, it's back at the freighter, isn't it? Right, okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll see you up in the station, chums. Well, I have just leaped from my ship like a grizzel. And now I'm heading up this way. Yes, I am. And I'm going to be going to see some technology merchant to buy some stuffage with my new found nanites. Hello. How are you, sir? That's some ominous music, isn't it? I don't know whether you can hear it. I don't know whether I've got my volume high enough. It's like... Hello. Okay. Brilliant. Yes, yes. Sh show me. Show away. Show away. Oh, okay. He gave me a freaking C-class module. Well, that, 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 that's, that's, that's not cricket, mate. You got any S classes? The S classes they're usually hidden underneath the old um the old counter down here. He's got no S classes. He's a terrible merchant. Terrible merchant. Okay, right. Anyway, it says that I've got to install this new module that I just got. I guess it's all part of the old tutorial, isn't it? Oh What budge is it? Where is it? Where's the one that just gave me? It gave me a bolt caster one, didn't it? Oh, I'm gonna install this anyway, might as well, might as well get that in. Let's do that over there. All right, okay. Um, what's this one? Hmm. Well, that that that's not going to go anywhere, is it? Okay. Did it put it in my starship then, or something? Yeah, it did. It put it in my starship. Brilliant. Yeah, that's just what we wanted, isn't it? Okay. Well, I haven't even got a bolt caster installed in this freaking device, have I? So, all right, let's look at that then. Just to move the mission on. Why not? Okay. Return to space and contact Apollo. Alright. I guess that's what we're doing then. Thank you very much, Apollo. You know what? Before I do that, can I upgrade my... No, I've already done the upgrade on this system. Fair enough. Alright, let's go to space then, people. Let's go contact Apollo and see what he's got to say. Okay. Sweet. Well, we just checked the technology merchant. And he didn't really have all that much. I was reading that message that was there. Oh, here we go. We've got an unknown signal coming in again. You're not alone. Sorry, what? Is this is this the space anomaly hitting me up right now? I think it is. Okay. If I had played this normally from scratch, that's what would happen, I guess. But because I've done the expedition, then we've come into this game. It's it's throwing things around in a bit of a loop, and that's why I've got so many blinking missions. Yeah. It, it, it is. It's Nada. It's Nada. It's Nada and Polo. Okay. Okay. You'll find us when the time is right. I've already found you, mate. I've already found you. <laughs> okay. Um. There we go. Now we've got Apollo talking to me. It's all. It's all a little bit scuppered. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Confirm, Akated. Good. Let's the hunt begin. 
I've detected Corvax installations on that weld of yours. The interference in your transmission is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species. But don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. Okay. Point out that Apollo is a robot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were, but this is no world of flesh. What? For flesh? My brain? What organs I have left? Everything was transferred to this shell. This is who I am. Ask how it happened. I took revenge when the time came. That's all you need to know. Okay, fun times. So start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels used to use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. Oh great, we're going to go do battle with some Sentinels, are we? And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax facility? Oh great, I'm being probed by freaking Sentinels right now, mate. They're both robotic life forms. Too much in common. Too much of a coincidence. Okay. Enter the factory. Hack the terminal we're in. If we get data about the Sentinels, good. If not, then we have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. All right, cool, yeah. This sounds like a terrible plan, but fine. Let's go do this. Thank you, mate. He's... Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, Corvax facility. Here we come, Corvax facility. I'll see you at the Corvax facility, people. Well, chums, I think I've arrived, Dakota. That said Sentinel facility. I mean, there's a couple of clues. I saw a dog robot, one of those little quads, just walking past my ship momentarily ago. Let's jump it out and let's see if my intuition is correct. Oh, he's gone. I don't know where he's gone. There he is. He's over there. There he is. There he is. Right there. Cool, yeah, we've arrived. Now, I'm fairly sure he's going to get fairly angry as soon as I blast this door open. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Zap! Okay, he's going to get really angry any second now. Okay, maybe he's not. Great, cool. Oh, yeah, I'm still in creative mode, aren't I? So, haha! <laughs> Hooray for me! Okay, we're in. Let's go around here then. Let's interact with this then. Righto. Better get all these fixed. Slap a jack. Done! Xert! Xert! Yes. The terminal housing an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax have been left of this world many days ago. Apparently recalled on a priority transmission to their species for Dilia. Something has them worried. Hmm, wonder what? Probe logs. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that they were experimenting with autonomy from their collective. Oh dear. The collective weren't like that. Examine the video feeds. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There's something in here with me. Shine a light upon it. I shine a light upon it. It's a small hairy creature, shaken and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax, like a pet. My scanner tells me that the creature is gravely ill. It would die, die no matter what intervention occurs. I could feed it, or I could euthanise it. I'm going to put it out of its misery. Yeah, let's do that. As creature looks mournfully up at me, I fire a single charge of my multi-tool. It shivers no more. Its suffering is at an end. Great. I move on from the factory complex. Sweet. I mean, it already had morsels of food in there. It was injured beyond recovery, people. Oh, yeah, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Navigational datas. All right, return to space and speak to Apollo. Yeah, but... Uh, first, I'm going to get some words. Well, no, it's not words. It's stock transfer. All right, well, we'll have this on the wall as well. Extra nanites. And now we shall exit. We shall vacay. All right, Coolio. I'm going to hit the save point over here. Because, one, it's going to give me a little bit of extra navigational data. You can search these as well, people. You can grab all sorts of freebies just lying around these places. 
And in this yellow one, sometimes you get some pretty cool stuff. Or stuff that you can sell early game. Oh, we've got life support gel. Nice. Okay, let's take it to the skies then. Let's go and see good old... Oh, bother! Zoom! Hello, mate. Good work. Your attack on that factory paid off. Did you get any useful data? Not overly. I found a hamster and I assassinated it. No matter. We have what we need. Okay, cool. Fine. I recorded counter signal flares when the sentinels started to appear. Energy streams sparked beneath the planet's surface, moving from monolith to monolith. Lovely. We must be on the right track. Examine these structures. They're all linked, I know it. I'll assign your scanner to the sentinel energy signals. We shall soon have our prey. Good luck. I'll speak to you on the other side. Sweet. Okay. Is he going to give me a marking? Bring word of Apollo's plan to Nada. Alright, fine. We'll go aboard the space anomaly. Okay, let's just move forwards a little bit. Now let's call in the space anomaly. Let's go and speak to good old Nada. You know what? I think this might be a fairly good point to end off after we speak to Nada. Yeah. Okay, well, here we are, up by um, Nada. Hello there, chappy. How are you? What new knowledge traveller? Apollo Entity is known to you. Okay, yeah. Explain Apollo's plan. Lovely, lovely. Traveller Entity that is not known to Nada. Yet they know Artemis Entity. Who themselves no longer recalls Nada. Yes, it's it's a bit of a weird one, that, isn't it? To be fair. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves. Ask what to do. Well, their friend has kept us safe. Nada's cup has, has, uh, has been Nada and Nada's only for many years. Outside the cycle of data, we help others escape those who might process our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. Uh, did I, I don't think it will. Um, I will try not to endanger thee. But better to understand. Know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. Okay. He seems rather troubled by all of that. But um, we are going to be continuing on with Apollo's plan. Now, where I said I, I might end off, I just meant end off doing this uh, sort of mission trail for a sec. Um, because I was thinking maybe of doing something a little bit for myself. You know, like I, I redone my base earlier. In fact, actually, let's just go and teleport back to my base and let's see if the teleporter... Well... Let's see if the actual landing pad that I put in situ actually works now. So let's just go see if I don't have to search for my ship every time I go back to my base now, people. Let's see if putting my own custom landing pad has cured that issue. Let's go do that. Okay, here we go. Your bases. Boom. Current system. Warp to home. Let's see if that's cured it. Right, chums. Well, I've arrived, Akated. And yes, look, my ship is on my own landing pad. Brilliant, eh? Yeah, that seems to have cured it. So thank you very much for your suggestions, people inside the view of us. Yeah, love it. Okay, cool, yeah. Got loads of ships circling the landing pad. That works. So I was thinking about doing something else for myself as well. And that was jump into a pirate area of space and seeing whether you just get the actual, you know, the pirate dreadnoughts. Well, I'm on some pirate frigates for my fleet. And I'm not too sure whether I've got to disable a pirate dreadnought first to get them. Or whether they just appear in pirate space now. I just want to see whether it was the same as before. Or whether it's slightly different. So I'm just going to jump to a pirate area of space. And have a quick little butchers, people. And have a little look around. Come on, is there any pirates in near vicinity? Right, well, it might take me a little while to find myself. Oh, there you go. There's one right there. And we're off to a pirate system of space to see if we can get some pirate frigates. Okay, yeah, right, so we've arrived, Akated. And I don't think we've got a, um interaction here with a pirate freighter. I saw hell would be breaking loose on my screen right now. Ah... Okay, it's definitely an outlaw area of space. And I'm not seeing any freighters that have actually spawned in 
Okay. All right, fine. Oh, here we go. Here's some here's some freighters over here. But I'm fairly sure they're not going to have the outlaw frigates already inside of their orbit. I think these are just going to be normal frigates. And I, I want to have a whole fleet of just pirate ones for my Sentinel Dreadnought. So I'm probably not going to go and recruit any of these. Not that it's given me the option to anyway. Bit bizarre. All right, fine. Oddities. Well, you know what? Let's just go aboard my own freighter for a second, people. And let's just see if my um, freighter has... A fin well, my frigate has finished its mission. Let's just get away from these. Maybe I have to debrief mine first and get to a certain stage before I can start employing more, you know? Might as well move it on a tad. And then hopefully the next Dreadnought interaction I get, hopefully I might be able to recruit a couple of frigates of choice. I do like how red and angry it is inside of these lower bays. And I do like all the sort of banners and things and drapes hanging from the sides that are very more pirate-esque. It's quite cool. All right, anyway, let's head on up here. Zoom. How's it going? Cool. Well, I haven't debriefed my one yet, have I? Let's go up here. Let's go debrief it. Jim, jim, jim. Sweet. Yep, debrief commander. Well, it was successful. Okay, well, what I might do is I might just put in a, another fleet command room here. So I've got six. I think six is enough. I'm sending out six missions at once. That's that's probably more than enough. We've got a little hydroponics area going on here. I might expand out the farm at some stage here and put lots of sort of plants here. But yeah, it, it's, it's going okay so far. All right, so we've done that then. Let's just go on over to here. Let's just hit on... Additional storage. Can I just do this? Yeah, I can. Nice, because I'm in I'm in creative mode. I can just go to town and putting all these slots in. So I'm just gonna do that. There's a little bit of a ribbon, a little bit of timing to this. Is it gonna let me do the technology as well? I'm just going to click up here and do the technology quickly. Because I've got a feeling that after it does all the storage, it won't bounce me up to technology. It'll just bounce me out of the screen. It likes you to do the technology first. Timing with the Xbox pad on my PC doesn't seem to be as intuitive as on the old consoles itself. Right. How many slots are there? Holy fudge. Imagine if I did this legit way of running all the derelict freighters. That'd, that'd take forever. Yeah, come on. I want to go through the other menus yet. Changing my hand position on the joypad just to get this done. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Right. Base parts and upgrades. Can I just go through this tree? I can. Cool. Well, that's good. Because to unlock all of this, you need like um, frigate modules or something. And to get those, the way that they've done it now is you used to be able to just attack freighters and blow bits up and, and get all this sort of stuff. But they've made it so that's not the case anymore. You can't just raid freighters to get these. Or if you do, they're as rare as Rocking Horse Turd now. I've got a video on how to get all these frigate modules, salvage frigate modules. It's not valid anymore. Because the way that you have to do it is freaking horrendous now. Might as well unlock all these as well. But yeah, I'm just going to unlock all of this stuff inside of my freighter. In preparation for when we come across all the frigates. And I might build out a little freighter base here in my own time. So the next time we reconvene, hopefully I've got my freighter base how I want it to look. And I'll give you a little tour. Before we press on with the next mission, I'll show you my new... Dreadnought freighter base, because this is going to take me some time to do this, people. So I might as well do it off camera. But I think I can do all this sort of stuff off camera as well. So you know what? For now, I'm just going to go and make a save. And I'll end off. And I'll go back up there in my own time and make sure I get all these bits. Alright. Jump in my ship. Out of my ship.
make a lovely little save. I'm going to just go to quit to desktop. Right, well, there we go, people. Hopefully you enjoyed that episode. A lot less sort of frustrations than the last one. Really enjoyed this one. Going to be going back up on board my freighter. Going to be kitting it all out, making a lovely freighter base. Hopefully showcase you that at the start of the next episode. But yeah, I'm enjoying the secondary playthrough on my PC save, trying to get it up to standard. Other things that I'm doing ambiently in it is trying to get all the glyphs. I want to try and get all the glyphs. So if we come across any travellers inside the stations, I will be heading out to get the glyphs associated with those. Is there anything else I want to be doing ambiently? Well, yeah, I wouldn't mind getting myself a sentinel ship. Now, as I was looking at those missions, those sub-missions, I did see that there was sentinel ship location in there. However, what I was thinking is getting all the glyphs first and jump into a system where I know that there's a sentinel ship that I quite like the look of from the coordinate exchange and hitting up a known sentinel ship that I want to keep rather than just getting a random one that I probably won't like. All right, people. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Cheery bye. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.